Get ready for the next battle. Back on some uh, some Tekken. I've been playing it for the past few nights, but I haven't actually been recording. You so have the right to remain silent. If I play tonight, we'll uh, round one. See if we can Fight. capture it. See how it goes. Spam sweeps. Right. Just gonna have to deal with it. Yeah. I gotta admit, I did, I did just overkill it with the spams, but yeah, he was doing, he was doing the same thing. You know what I mean? So I can't sit here, you know, thinking I uh, could have done better. First fight of the night. New uh, challenge. You know, you bump into somebody who's just, you know, doing the spams, you know, again and again and again. So what are you gonna do? You're obviously gonna do it back to him, innit? Get ready for the next battle. This guy, man. You gotta love this guy. <clears throat> it's because of people like this guy. Fight! And people like me ever ever rank up. I wanna be honest. There's, there's some really really good players out there. And this I, I always do this to this guy. And he never seems to get the idea. You know what I mean? That all he needs all he needs to do is just block. <laughs> I just be, I, I don't know, man, I can't be asked using any, you know, using any depth or anything like that on this one. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, there are, you know, certain people out there who I play and they, they really, you know, those guys really make me feel good. And uh, I mean, here I can just, you know, all the Yeah, man. Fight. 
Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, come across some players like um, Danger Mouse, Big Taurus, um, another guy called Super Nuts, and another player called Red Guard or something like that, and there's another one called Exclusion, and th there's, there's quite a few of them, and Exclusion... Um, I don't think I've ever, I've ever actually won that guy ever in a match. Um, <clears throat> Red guard, yeah. Uh, once in a blue, I'm probably winning, but majority of the time he wins. He or she, whatever he may, it may be. But um, yeah, that person wins. Super nuts. Now super nuts is is a funny one. Um, Majority of the time, New challenge. he will kick my ass. Uh, but every every once in a blue, the table turns basically. Get ready for the, ready next, for the battle. next battle. Yeah, so Su Super Nuts is a good player. Yeah, but um, it's. I, I would say that Round one. it doesn't really serve any purpose in this game to play uh, people who you know, falls no challenge. You know what I mean? Round two. And you're probably, you know, thinking, why would I, you know, why would I, you know, play like this? Well, why not just let the guy win? Yeah. You see, the thing is, is the thing is that is, I mean that that is a good thought, you know. Give give this guy a bit of a taste of you know how it feels to win or, or rank up or something like that, whatever. Um, I have thought about it, but then the thing is, you, when you start losing to people like this. Uh, it affects your rank as well. Uh, it actually affects you know, the higher rank you are and the lower rank person that you lose to. It affects your rank uh, quite a bit. If you lose to someone who is you know, a higher rank than you, it doesn't really affect your rank. But, I mean, ranks don't really mean jack shit in this game, to be honest with you. It means absolutely nothing because you are you're always gonna come across somebody who is better than you and there's some really really good players out there so rank doesn't really mean shit but um uh, i think it looks good at, at least you know what i mean the amount of fights that i've had uh on this game new challenge i mean i can't be you know it's gonna look absolutely stupid with everybody being third dan <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the characters, you know, they should be ready for at least brawler. Or, you know, a grandmaster or so, something like that. Um, at least, you know, to, to that rank. And, um, but, the more, the more you play, obviously, the more you learn. And, again, the more you Fight. learn, the more you lose. Yeah. Round two. Fight. getting silly now, isn't it? Fight.
<laughs> oh man, that was funny, guys. I love it when the when, when the moves are just you know. Um, I don't know. It's kind of weird as a, as a third round. I've been through it as well. I think it's desperation or something. You end up, you know, start. You get to that little point where you're just about to kick the ass, but then you lose the match. And I had, unfortunately, I wasn't recording last night, but I had a lot of them last night. I'm telling you. Um, but um, saying that, the connection was really, really, really bad yesterday. Really bad. Um, I couldn't get online. Um, on this, you know, the, the time it took be between joining games, you know, would, was absolutely ridiculous. Um, couldn't find many matches online on this game and couldn't really find many matches online on Tekken 7. And then I decided to try Gears of War 4 and... Um, even that was taking absolutely uh, silly amounts of time. Mm. Must have been at least about 15 minutes before it actually got me into a, uh, a match. And, But saying that, the quality of the match wasn't really as bad as, you know, it has been. So I don't really understand this I don't understand whether it's uh, my connection, you know, uh, whether it's my, you know, whether it's to do with my connection, is my connection bad, and is that why I'm experiencing a lot of disconnection and, and lag or something, or um, is it is it something to do with um, Xbox Live? Is it is it something on their end? New challenger. So, and when you begin to when you begin to chase this um, when you begin to chase this, it's like you're constantly running back and forth. The the Xbox or the Microsoft people tell you, oh, it's it's nothing on our end. Next it's definitely your ISP provider. And you speak to your internet provider and they will be like, it's absolutely nothing on our end. It's theirs, it's Microsoft, it's your Xbox Live connection, it's your, uh, it's your this, it's your this that. Out. And you know, you speak to the Microsoft people and they'll be like, the, 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 they start coming out with some right new things silent. like DNS settings or some shit like that, which well, doesn't what? fucking make any sense. Fight! Yeah, hey.
you win. Yeah, so as I was saying, when when you start chasing, you know, if you're experiencing a bad connection and you start chasing chasing them down, then it's just a constant back and forth all the time with no resolution. And you see, the thing is, um, with with being a Virgin Media customer. I've heard that they have actually got up to some shady stuff with their own customers like for example um, locking down a customer and reducing the speed limits or, or something along them lines doing some sort of tests on the line without the customers knowledge and then locking them down so they can't send out information or anything like that so something along them lines it's on YouTube anyway. Uh, if you probably type in something along the lines of Virgin Media Scandal or something like that, it, it'll pop up somewhere along the lines. And um, yeah, they've been uh, they've been doing some some funny practices with their uh, own customers. So me being a, a Virgin Media customer. kind of makes me think you know why is there so much I mean I know people who are on other ISPs you know what I mean other providers mainly BT and they never complain about no disconnections or anything so it's very strange very very strange and um, but the problem is is when it comes to you know streaming or downloading or playing online virgin media apparently is the best you know what i've just realized yeah my ethernet cable was out <laughs> all this time yeah i'm thinking what's going on in there there you go yeah yeah so but I mean that that was today though isn't it but yesterday it was definitely in yesterday believe me and uh, the connection was really 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 bad really bad um, yeah gotta do this quickly wait for it to sign in yeah yesterday was definitely uh, plugged in and the connection was, was pretty bad and um, we'll just see now if I mean in the few games that I have played the connection wasn't really that bad the connection was pretty good actually let's see how it plays out now I'll just do a quick few hey, Pick few games and then I'm gonna call it tonight. Miguel. Probably another another two games after putting the wire back in anyway. Um, yeah, so ISP providers, yeah, and it's not just um, it's not just um, it's not just the internet that I've been. Uh, having issues with uh, disconnection I've noticed it's also my phone as well and everyone I talk to after a short while yeah it'll disconnect so but my my, my phone ain't um, ain't from Virgin you get me but obviously I use the Wi-Fi so 
what I'm thinking of doing is disconnecting the Wi-Fi off the phone and using the phone just like that and testing it that way maybe that'll be able to give me some sort of in indication as to uh, why there's there's so much I mean the phone line doesn't really you know have anything to do with with the internet but because these new phones they'll be doing some sort of um, Wi-Fi calling as well as the uh, as in conjunction with your normal call I don't know to make it better quality or something so I mean I don't really understand it but I, I know they do it so I'm thinking maybe it's that has something to do with it I'm not really sure but my my phone gets disconnected a lot my calls get disconnected a lot and my internet gets disconnected a lot as well and I've also come to the realization that this new super hub that Virgin has been pushing out is a very 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 flawed uh, piece of equipment uh, and it's actually a lot worse than the uh, than the previous super hub so then there's that too um, I mean to be honest with you after you after you look at all the information regarding um, Virgin Media if you're a Virgin Media customer that is I mean if you're not then you know you couldn't give two shits about it but if you're a Virgin Media customer and you look at all the information that is out there regarding the company uh, Virgin Media regarding their practices um, if you know any ex Virgin Media customers I'm telling you they'll be telling you some some serious stories like how Virgin Media have you know skanked them how they've overcharged them how they did this how they did that how they took more money out of the account than they were you know than they were supposed to personally me I've never really faced um, that you know that they've taken more money out of my account by a direct debit that's never happened to me I know somebody that it happened to but that person had more than a couple of services from uh, Virgin I think he had like TV and uh, mobile phone New and, Challenger. You know, he basically had the phone from them and uh, TV and you know the phone and the internet and you know the, basically the full shebang yeah and I've never Get ready right at the, the beginning next batch, next batch. in the very beginning I um, I actually had the the TV and the phone and the I'm broadband package but pretty soon I realized that we don't really bother with the TV or bullshit one. thing yeah so we don't need it Fight. He got me. Round two. He got me. Fight. Yeah, man. Round three. Fight. you know what I think I'm just gonna call this the end uh, don't want to didn't really want to make this uh, clip so long um, I wanted to keep it you know probably to about 15 minutes but it's gone on longer than I you know wanted it to but yeah so 
I'm gonna what what I've start what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start dating these so you you know you're gonna start seeing the dates in the uh, in the titles. <laughs>